Hi, my name is Jingo, and this is episode 3 of Manga Recommendations. And today we got a very short one, only around 200 pages. It's a comedy, mystery, drama. It's Getenro. I'm just going to call it Genro because it's easier to say. So Genro is one of those stories where in the beginning we are presented with these seemingly unrelated stories with seemingly unrelated characters and by the end the overarching story takes over and connects the dots together. Though not in a purely conventional way like a Sherlock Holmes novel or you know something like Bacano. Instead it really reminded me of Pulp Fiction where in the beginning of each act there are three acts, I think. In the beginning of each act, we are introduced to the characters in these random scenes that are comedic in nature. Genro does the exact same thing where the first half of the manga is more or less a comedy where their personalities, the uh, settings, the relationships between the characters are presented in this sort of brisk, loose, and whimsical way. Though unlike Pulp Fiction, Genro's little stories do build up to this overarching plot, hence the mystery tag. And let's talk about the mystery. So the story follows a series of murders, but it isn't really a murder mystery, because the real mystery is finding out what the hell is even happening in the first place. As I said before, the manga starts off with these uh, random scenes, and I'm not lying when I say it's random. We got robots, fairies, porn. It's definitely a sci-fi, you know? So it's not the main focus. And the uh, murders, at least in the beginning, isn't even the main focus of these chapters. And if they are, it's not about the why, it's about the how the murders happen. Or like, you know, other small details. I'm not going to spoil it for you. But yeah, they play off the murders as if it's something insignificant in a way, and I'll get to that later. The story does get together by the end, and you know, it does wrap up beautifully. Not exactly a beautiful ending per se, but you know, it's it does wrap up nicely. And uh, talking about mystery, I don't even like mystery stories in general, because usually they go all in on the mystery, they just focus in on it and the appeal comes from like, oh, how are they going to solve it? You know, kind of the technical details of the mystery. But what ends up happening is that the mystery just drags on for way too long or the mystery itself is ridiculous. So the payoff is almost never worth it. Genro, however, avoids this. It's short, so you don't get bored. You know, it's tight. And the mystery isn't really something that they dangle in front of you to build up this meaningless tension. Like the main mystery is just in the background. It's not even the main focus. You know, it's, it's just gelling. So it's not annoying or tedious, especially on a reread, you know, second reading. Mystery stories are notoriously a chore to get through when you already know what's going to happen. And Genro avoids that because of its length and the way it handles the story. Now as for the art in Genro, it's clean, simple, and it's forgettable. In a good way. <laughs> if you take a look at the panels, you'll see that it's simple, just you know, classic clean rectangles. And what's really interesting is how the art never escapes the panels, only like a few sound effects. The backgrounds are sparse, you know, not a lot of details. Also, when the characters talk, oftentimes the background is completely empty. And it only changes as the tone of the story changes. Kind of, this doesn't really change that much. So when I say the art is forgettable, it's not because it's bad. It's because it's intentional. I, I think. I think it's intentional. I hope. Now, I think the art along with the structure, the tone of the manga, is supposed to be the embodiment of wabi-sabi. And if you don't know what that is, according to Wikipedia, wabi-sabi is a worldview centered on the acceptance of transience and imperfection 
the aesthetic is sometimes described as one of appreciating beauty that is imperfect, impermanent, and incomplete in nature. And impermanent, imperfect, it's the beauty of something ephemeral in nature. And guess what that is? It's life. And if you look at the ending of this manga, it's very wabi-sabi, you know, I I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think that makes sense, right? I want you to keep, you know, th that idea of wabi-sabi in mind when you read this manga. And uh, yeah, I, ho I hope that helps you understand the themes in the manga, at least one of them. And that's it, really. You know, that's all I got to say. I'm giving it a an 8. Strong 7 to an 8. What didn't I like, though? You know, not much. Probably, you know, some of the early chapters are hit or miss, especially when it comes to the comedy. You know, it's very manzai, not really a problem for me. You know, it's very weird as well, so it's understandable if people could just get weirded out by this manga. But me, I like it. You know, why, why do I like it? It's uh, short, only 200 pages. You can, you can literally read it twice in an hour. Uh, second, it's uh, very unique, as in it's very weird, but in a good way, obviously. And actually, you know, structurally, in manga, there's actually like three other stories that are very similar in nature. One of them is Voynich Hotel, you know, very popular. So, yeah, maybe check it out. And third reason is, you know, it's, it's just a fun ride. You know, comedy, mystery, it's, it's a fun story. Don't forget the drama, too. Since, but, you know, that comes in the second half. That's why I can't really talk that much about the story, since it's a mystery. And, you know, the drama is part of the mystery. I, I can't talk about it. Go read it by yourself. And that's it. Thanks for watching. After you read it, maybe tell me your thoughts in the comments. You know, come back. <laughs> or not. Who cares? Yeah, anyway. Uh, I did say, last video, I did say I was going to go unscripted. But I ended up making a script for this whole episode. So, yeah, maybe that's just my thing. It took two fucking hours. Just to make a script. Yeah. Anyway. Thanks for all the support. I really appreciate it. Especially to all you guys who comment on uh, every video. And like the video. Thank you. And yeah. See you next week.